Today's guest is so cool. His name reflects it. His name is Jack Savage. <laughs> I met Jack at a health conference out in Austin, Texas, and I was just blown away by uh, not only the business that he's created and the purpose behind it, but his own personal story and how he got there. So starting at age five, he was put on prescription stimulants for ADHD. And so as he came to be an adult, he's like, I got to figure out a way to get off these stimulants. He started getting hypertension and was irritable a lot. And so he really went on his own personal quest um, to be able to be a productive functioning member of society while not taking stimulants. Um, and so he tried keto, vegetarian, paleo, being sugar-free, alcohol-free, all these things. And then he started experimenting with mushrooms, um, the non-psychedelic kind we're talking about today, um, like lion's mane, chaga, and also nootropics like L-theanine. And he found really awesome results with that. And that led to him creating a company called Everyday Dose. You may have heard of them. They've, I've, I heard of them. I've, I've seen them all over the place. It's a functional mushroom coffee replacement, I guess you could kind of say. Um, so it has those nootropics in it. Let me tell you a little bit about it. He's going to tell you all about it, but it's a combination of functional mushrooms, collagen protein, and nootropics. So it's really great for immunity, for gut health, focus, energy, and they're just awesome. Awesome. We've been, they have a matcha kind, a coffee flavor kind, and they're incredible. And also, I just want to let you guys know they offered you guys something super cool as podcast listeners. So you just go to everydaydose.com slash coach Tara. Okay. And you're going to get a 30 serving mushroom coffee, but you're also going to get a free starter kit, which has this awesome mug to keep it hot or cold. It has this really, really nice frother like a gunmetal serving spoon and five free to go sachets. So um, make sure you go to everydaydose.com slash coach Tara to get that. I think you could probably also use coach Tara coupon code, but I would recommend just going straight to that. But yeah, really, really cool stuff. I'll let Jack explain it all to you. We'll go ahead and dive in. Here is Jack Savage. All right. So Jack, we met out at How Do You Health in Austin and yeah, it's cool. I, I just freaking love you. I can't wait to introduce my audience to you. I hope you guys watch on YouTube because I just, I don't know. I like your vibe, Jack. It's you're, you're here to show up and bring goodness to the world. You're dedicated. You're showing up big and it's really cool. And if you are watching on YouTube, you can see what I'm holding up. If you're not, I'll explain. Um, I'm holding like an individual pack of everyday dose, the mushroom latte and it's mushrooms, collagen and nootropics and it's coffee got an upgrade. Can you explain what this is and what this isn't? And then we, we, we got matcha too, but like, let's, let's just get right into it. What is everyday dose? I didn't realize I say the matcha. That's awesome. Yes, you did. Thank you. You were very, very generous and they have the coolest branding ever. It's very psychedelic looking, which I appreciate. <laughs> I did, it, was all, it was all designed on, on mushrooms too. <laughs> and now I love it even more. <laughs> so everyday dose was basically started from my own history of Adderall. I was put on Ritalin at the age of five all the way to 25. And I went to the doctor and they said I had high blood pressure. And I remember thinking to myself, like, what the heck, Jack, you're 25 and you have high blood pressure. Yeah. First, it's like, you've got ADHD. Now you've got heart problems. And I, you know, the, the non PG version of the story is I actually, you know, went internally and I took some psychedelics. Yeah. And, and I remember thinking to myself, like, is this how you want to live the rest of your life? And it was just Damn. like all these things, like I was irritable. I was having trouble sleeping. Damn. I was having trouble staying asleep and I had these ups and downs and mood swings with Adderall. Mm -hmm. And so I quit cold Turkey and I started drinking a lot of coffee and that wasn't really cutting it. I'd have one mm -hmm. or two hours of energy, then I'd crash or I'd have mm -hmm. too much coffee and I'd be jittery and anxious or my stomach would hurt. And then, uh, there was a product that Joe Rogan talked about, uh, 10 years ago. Mm. And, and, uh, I tried it and I remember thinking to myself, holy crap, like there are products out there that are not pharmaceuticals that actually can mm. help you with focus and energy. And so I was pretty broke. And so I looked at the label and I started researching all the different ingredients in it. And that's when I got really into biohacking and supplements and diet and nutrition. So I started formulating my own products and I was making mushroom drinks for almost 10 years now. And that's how I landed on the ingredients that are in everyday dose. And everyday dose is an alternative to conventional coffee and doctor prescribed stimulants. So mm -hmm. we combine functional mushrooms, collagen protein, 
and nootropics for clarity, focus, and immune support. And I launched it pretty much because this is what I was taking even before I had the company. Mm -hmm. And that's what everyday dose is. Mm. I love this. You know what? I just have to highlight that part of your story real quick. Cause it's like, I've worked with people <laughs> trying to get off Adderall and obviously guys, we're not making any recommendations on how you do right. your life on any way, shape or form. But like <clears throat> what I have found, um, like with a, a client, I mean, that was the main reason he hired me was to help him get off Adderall. Right. And he is off Adderall now. Mm. And what we found for him was I was like, you know, what are the things that are causing you to want to take out Adderall? You know, like what, it, and I'm not trying to say there's not like, you know, ADHD. Yeah. It's freaking real. Like, I know I, I have it and it's my right. superpower. I actually it's, love having ADHD. And yeah. I'm okay. We're going to get into that next. And like for him and he does too. Right. But for him, it was like, he realized he was trying to force himself into this, like this pigeonholed way of being. And I was like, bro, why are you ever sitting behind a computer for five hours? Like you run your business. You could like have somebody else. Like, he's like, I got to do it for when I got to get behind the computer. I'm like, no, dude, you got to have somebody else get behind the computer. Like that's it. Right. And so we just kind of like went through that and started having him do life on his own terms now. And now he's like off of it. Right. And that's, I'm just, you know, that's just him. I'm not trying to tell anybody else what to do, but for you, it takes courage, right? It took courage for you to be like, you had to go out of the programming, which obviously mushrooms helped you with, but you had to go out of the programming of like, cause it, like, it's like you were trying to force yourself into this way of being right. By using these hardcore simulants. And then you had to make this brave moment of like, okay, how else do I want to play this? And then it led you to this, which is like everyday dose is freaking killing. It has taken over. I mean, you guys have been featured in like really big outlets. You're like just growing rapidly, like rapidly, you know, and it's just such a cool, thank you for sharing how that all started. Cause it started with this brave moment of like, I'm going to let go of the old way of being, and I'm going to step into what feels right to me and look what freaking happened. It's so thank cool. You. Yeah. yeah we got to talk more often. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I love, I, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I love these kind of stories. It's like so freaking beautiful, but it took that scary moment of like, I'm not going to do this anymore. Oh, I mean, this is, I was on this pre puberty. Right. So I just, wow. this was only what I knew. Wow. Like I was on amphetamines <laughs> for 20 years. Wow. And so when I got off of it, I was lost and it wasn't like, Oh, lion's mane and nootropics and, and yeah like all of a sudden like i'm like I'm back to normal <laughs> right it took a lot of work it, like i learned that when you have in, when you have adhd you're you're more inflamed on a cellular level mm. and that's one of the reasons why people who have adhd or add have brain fog and mm. uh so i was like okay well if i have more inflammation on a cellular level then that means i need to avoid avoid inflammatory foods more often yeah so it was pretty easy for me to cut out alcohol because I like already like felt like crap when I drank it. Like it just hurt my gut. Yeah. Um, and alcohol is like one of the most inflammatory things you can put in your body. Personally. Totally. I mean, totally. I'll, I have a celebratory drink here and there. Like I'm not like so right. Um, or I, I actually more California sober. <laughs> have you heard that term? No. What is that? It just, it just basically means like you don't drink alcohol, but you do other things like mushrooms and, oh, God. and other things too that we can potentially get into as well. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm a yeah huge proponent of yeah. uh, other thing, anything other than uh, alcohol. Um, oh, me too. Alcohol is like I, I don't mean to be. I, I don't. I hope this doesn't offend anybody. But like sometimes when I'm around people, like at concerts, this is kind of the only time I'm ever around people who are drunk because I don't. None of my friends really drink. Yeah. And I'm like, it's hard to tell if they are like special needs or not. I'm not kidding. Like it's just you can tell that they're just their brain is not functioning. It's, they're just not functioning, right? Like, it's just like, I'm trying to talk to them and I'm like, I, I'm literally trying to gauge if they are drunk or if like, maybe they have some, right, something in their brain isn't functioning all the way. And I'm like, oh, okay. Yeah. They're just drunk. Like, cause I'm not around it a lot. Work, right. <laughs> I can guarantee at least one person on this that's listening to this show has made a mistake because of yeah. drinking alcohol. Yeah. At least yeah, one, like, I mean, I certainly have made a mistake, like, you know, drinking alcohol. It's just, oh yeah, I guess you're Mormon. So that was never really, I was, me. yeah. And so, I mean, I'll drink here and there, but now I'm into <laughs> health and it's just like, I, when you feel what happens, when you feel really sit there with like food or anything in your life and you're like, okay, 
what did I think of that? How did, what results did I get out of that? Do I like that? Do I not? It just, it's like, if you sit with alcohol enough like that, you're like, dude, I don't like anything. I don't get anything great for my life out of this. And so the desire is just, I don't say, I still will drink with somebody, you know, if we're out at a dinner and they're having a wine pairing, like sure, whatever. It's just not my cup of tea. I'm a a California sober person. (laughs) The California sober is more than, it's like mushrooms, uh, acid. I'm not really into acid personally. Um, LSD or surgic acid diethylamide. I I think that's the, the Uh the surgic acid diethylamide. That is LSD. Wow. Good job. We just all just Uh, say LSD. (laughs) Um, uh, another one is ketamine is great, especially when it's used for ceremonial purposes, like breath work. Like I love ketamine and breath work. It's my favorite. Interesting. I haven't tried that. Like a 50 milligram dose. You can get like a hundred or 200 milligram lozenges or trophy trochies from your doctor. Like a lot of doctors pres- will prescribe it because it really like, slows you down. And, um, I will do breath work with it. And like, my body's just vibrating. And you know, that feeling that you get when you're kind of like breathing for a decent amount of time. And like, you want to stop because like it feels uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. The ketamine actually helps you push through that. And that's when the breakthroughs happen. When you push through that, that point of wanting to stop. That's really interesting. Thanks for sharing that. I, I, I'm not a fan of ketamine personally. I, I, it's not nothing against it. I just like, haven't had, it's always just like a lesser less good experience than any other like psychedelic that I've ever used, but I haven't tried it with breath work. I, t- I just did breath work two nights ago, like a big old <laughs> thing. And it's, I tend to get breakthroughs pretty easily, but yeah, like being able to, that makes sense since it has that like anesthetic type of, like you would be able to like relax into yeah. it more and like all of that. Yeah. It also helps you with like reprogramming the brain too, because it makes yeah. your, your brain a little bit more malleable into like learning True. new things and taking on new habits. True. That's why like, before you go into the breath work, you set an intention. And then with mm-hmm. that intention, mm-hmm. uh, you go into it with this mindset. Hmm. I'll um, have to try that combo. One, and you should try other ship. It's actually my favorite breath work app. Yeah, um, I do like, use it. Yeah. Guess what? Everyday dose. If you subscribe to everyday dose, you get a free membership to other ship now. Ah, right on. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. Like For me, it's like, I want to provide tools for people to live their yeah. healthiest, happiest lives. Your mushroom coffee or your coffee in the morning. We actually, by the way, rebranded it to mushroom coffee instead of the mushroom latte. Uh, okay. It's the same, same product, except like you can add milk if it, if you want to make it a latte, but you don't need to. So I think it was a little confusing to people when I called it the mushroom latte. It's really a mushroom coffee. Yeah. Okay. But let's get into mushroom coffee, right? Cause I, people are probably, wait, is it coffee with mushrooms in it? Like what's the deal? Can you explain the formula to people? Yeah. So there's, there's two reasons why people typically give up coffee. One, the caffeine is just blowing up your adrenal system. You've drinking it too long and now you're just, your brain is fried or mm-hmm. your adrenal system is fried. Mm-hmm. The second reason is because of uh, basically your, your, your microbiome and your gut. Coffee in itself is highly acidic. Mm-hmm. So when you're putting something that's highly acidic into your, your, your gut, you're slowly killing your microbiome in your gut. So with Everyday Dose, we worked with this company that is the only company that does this specific type of extract it's a mm-hmm. coffee extract that's super low caffeine and super low acidity. So you can still have that morning routine. Mm-hmm. And then we load it with functional mushrooms like lion's mane and chaga, only the fruiting bodies. Like we don't touch the myceliated grain because it's super, it's just, it's, just, it's a filler. I, in my yeah. Opinion, you know? Yeah. Let's pause on that. So, okay. First of all, low caffeine and it's coffee extract. Is that how you put it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. It's cool. Like an, so, ex- an extract of coffee. So you still, cause I know that's a big thing for when people are trying it. They're like, I just really kind of like the taste of coffee, the ritual. I want all that. And now they're getting functional mushrooms and nootropics and just like that flavor, which I'm drinking it right now. I made a little latte out of it and it's so good. And it, it, I, you, you can't tell that it's at least taste wise in a latte version. I can't tell that it's not coffee, right? It, it tastes We've been told good. that it's the best tasting like coffee alternative, but it's, it's still, it's oh, a confusing sure. messing. It's an alternative coffee, not a coffee alternative. Because like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cause it does have a little bit of caffeine, but not much, but it's, yeah, it's a super smart blend and it, it does taste amazing, but let's get into this fruiting bodies thing real quick. Right. Cause we'll like, yeah. Cause I, 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 in case you guys missed my Jeff Chilton episode, you need to go back and listen to that because there's all these lion's mane, chaga, cordyceps, reishi, you know, they've really like mushrooms have really come out in the health world, but like most people are just like 
uh, growing the mycelium on grains, grinding it up, but the mycelium doesn't have all the health benefits that the fruiting body of the mushroom has. Here's the thing though. There is benefits in the mycelium. There is a thing. So the mycelium, so lion's mane is made up of arenosines, which is in the mycelium and the, okay. and the heresinones, which is in the fruiting body. Okay. The people who talk about mycelium, they're talking about the arenosines. Uh-huh which is like something that makes mycelium really powerful and they're not wrong. Okay, However, okay. when you grow the mycelium on grain and then you blend it, the percentage of arenosines that you uh-huh. need, you would need like a hundred pounds. Right. Okay. So they're talking about mycelium is super important, important or full spectrum or full Got body it. mushrooms. They're not wrong. Like mycelium right. is really great. It's if you're growing it on a myceliated grain, Okay. That's when it's wrong because you're, you need to have so much of it. You need it's like, just diluted. Like, it's like a, a fraction of a percent of what you need. If you need a hundred percent. So like uh-huh. it's misleading marketing, because I mean, yes, this is true. Mycelium is great. Uh-huh. How, and it does help with nerve growth factors and, mm-hmm. and, and production, but you need so much more. At the same time, the, the heresinones, which is in the fruiting body, mm-hmm. still can do those things. So like, Got it. I'm not going to dilute my product by putting this myceliated grain. It's a lot cheaper, by the way, too. It really helps <laughs> with the margins. And right. I'm in the, I'm, I am in the business of making money, but I'm also in the business of also like having a product that my friends drink, my, my, my yeah. family drinks and I drink. Right. And it was like, it's a story born on helping myself. So like, yeah, that's just the one thing I couldn't get right. by. And I, and there's like other brands out there that yeah. like, that like some are, are at least labeling it, um, like mud water, they, they at least label the mycelium okay. grain. So like, okay. Their labeling could be maybe, I don't know. What uh, about like rise or, um, I don't know who else is doing the mushroom coffee. Do you know? Rise. Um, I, I've been, I've been shared their, their ingredients mm-hmm. and it is not fruiting about hundred percent fruiting body. Okay. They're using, they're using the myceliated grain. Okay. They're using the myceliated grain and they're not even showing it on the label. It's extremely, uh, mm, that's not bad cool. Practice. Yeah. yeah. It happens a lot in the, in the health world, right? It's like, Oh, look, it has BHB ketones in it. And like one microgram. Thanks guys. You know what I mean? Like that's, <laughs> that happens a lot. And then, that's how it is, but it really I appreciate you because it, it just annoys me because there's so many, so many people who are like, Oh, mushrooms, right. never, it's, it's a trend because it didn't really work. It's like, no, it's not a trend. It is a trend right now, but it should be a trend that lasts forever. Yeah. 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 I appreciate you, uh, showing up to the plate and, and putting the good stuff in there. It's all organic. Let's talk about, um, L-theanine. Yeah. You know, I it's just for people L-theanine. who don't know about putting L-theanine in coffee, you know, why is that in there? Well, um, well, it's not even in, I read, it, well, yeah, it's an everyday dose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I read a study that l is incredible for people who have ADHD, kids and adults. Um, and they actually have studies where ki- kids are being put on caffeine and l It's mm-hmm. like, if you're going to put your kid on amphetamines, like, like, are you really going to question caffeine? <laughs> yeah. Um, but if you combine caffeine with L-theanine, the synergistic effect is incredible. Mm-hmm. And it's shown to really help reduce any of the negative effects of ADHD. And the reason why I say negative effects of ADHD is to go back to what I was talking about early. I love my ADHD. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a superpower because it makes you think in so many different ways. Right. And, uh, just, yeah. So L-theanine is incredible for ADHD. It's also really good for reducing stress and anxiety and cortisol. So mm-hmm. people often talk about when they drink their everyday dose coffee in the morning, they are also reducing their stress and anxiety for the day. Um, and so I just, I just like use the science, right? Like, mm-hmm. and then, um, it's extracted from green tea typically. Uh, ours is, uh, right now currently from this brand called sun theanine. It's a, mm-hmm. it's an L theanine that's made in Japan. So we, we import mm-hmm. it from Japan. Nice. 
And yeah, that's, that's a little bit, that's Althini. Yeah. I mean, and just, you know, sharing for people listening from, from like a training perspective, like, you know, it's not uncommon for trainers to use, well, I don't know, trainers who are really into the nervous system stuff to use L-theanine to help uh, regulate the nervous system. Like if you're going to be pushing super heavy, 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 it's just like a balancer. It, it will help you balance things out. Right. And a lot of people who you know, don't do well with caffeine. If they have L-theanine in it, it will like smooth it out. And I think, I think a lot of people are starting to know that, but you know, and that makes sense for ADHD as well. But also like, if you're going to have just like less caffeine and be able to have L-theanine, like, you know what, this reminds me of what you've created is almost like, like how I started meditating at the beginning of my day, instead of like going balls to the wall, let's go. Right. Like, like intentionally, it's like a double bird to like this whole program that we're supposed to be in this rat race and never stop. And blah, 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 blah. it's like, see, when you sit down, it's like, yeah, cool. I've got four kids. I run a business. I've got a full client load. I have social media. I have podcasts. I have all this stuff. I have stuff too. I have stuff too. And when I sit down to meditate, first thing, it is just this, like, I'm not too busy for myself. And like your product kind of reminds me of that it's like this, like, it's like this act of defiance in this world of like, go, go more, more, more. You're like, no, we're going to take all theanine actually. And like, yeah, we're going to have our minds work clear and we're going to have energy, but it's going to be in this totally different space than this, just this go, 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 go grind mm. mentality. It's cool. It's like, you this know, is med- it- meditation. Meditation, in coffee. meditation, <laughs> meditation in a cup. Yeah. Cool. Um, so, do you know why people can't properly digest caffeine? Do you know the gene variant a little bit? I'm happy to get, nerd out for a second. Yeah, let's do it. I do um genetic stuff in my coaching, right? Oh, so, um, I will. Variant, yeah, CYP1A2 is a gene variant. That's yeah, and there's that, different variants, right? Like, um, are, yeah, so that. You, yeah, I'll let you take it. Let's talk about, let's talk about CYP1 and 2. This is really important for people to know. Yeah. Over five out of 10 Americans have this gene variant. And if you have this gene variant, it essentially means that you metabolize caffeine very slowly. It means also that, I mean, you can jump in more too. If, uh, and it, I was just going to say, and if you metabolize caffeine slowly, it also means that you should be careful on how much you consume or how you're consuming it. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've gone really deep in this one. So like, um, uh, I've been doing genetic testing on almost every single client since like 20 late 2019, you know? So it's been like four, four years, almost probably three and a half years. And I have seen, it's been cool to see like an actual, you know, real time kind of like just what comes through my, uh, through my coaching in terms of CYP one, eight, two. And yeah, I would say it's extremely rare that I get a fast metabolizer. So that's like the AALL of like, it's like when you look at genes, you'll have CYP1A2 and then it's like RS and it's like a bunch of numbers. And the RS stands for, it's like reference SNP. It's like this little cluster of SNPs, right? So there's one of these RS, I don't remember the numbers off the top of my head that have to do with caffeine metabolism. That one also has to do with estrogen metabolism, which is really interesting. But um, anyway, I've seen, I have, I'm actually a fast metabolizer of caffeine. If you, lucky, if you are, you. I know if you are, you're kind of, it's kind of lucky. I'm not going to lie. Cause like when I, I really dove into the research, people who are fast metabolizers of caffeine, a couple of things, and these are from like really well-established large studies. One, and I, I can't throw them off the top of my head, but if somebody really wants to know, I'll look it up for you. <laughs> okay. But one was, um, fast metabolizers of caffeine have a, like when we're talking coffee, they have a le- lower risk of heart, um, like ne- adverse cardiac events because they go through the caffeine so fastly fast that they don't have as much of the detrimental effect. But I'm telling you, it's like, I think it's less than 25% of that population. And at, from my experience, it's like, I think I've gotten like two or three over the course of like three years. Like it's like wow. even less than that in my world. Right. So it's very rare <laughs> to be a fast metabolizer. Most people are somewhat slow and a lot of people are very slow, right? So like you can, it depends on, you know, the copies, but, um, I, this is what I usually get from the people who are somewhat slow metabolizers. They'll say, oh yeah, I can't have, um, coffee after like noon or one or something like that. That's the typical somewhat slow metabolizer. The really slow metabolizers, they're like, oh, I don't drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> that's usually the response. Oh yeah. Me. I don't do caffeine. That was me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. And we have both, we have slow metabolizers and, and really slow metabolizers that drink everyday dose. 
And if you are a slow metabolizer, are really a slow metabolizer, and you continue to pound yourself with caffeine, you have a much higher risk of heart attack and other heart issues. Later yes. On. Yeah. And you know it, you know, it. like, you can tell if your body is like kind of on overdrive all the time. Maybe you don't, maybe you're so like, <laughs> that's your new normal. But like, if you're, if you're pounding coffee and you have adrenal issues, slow thyroid, you're having a hard time losing weight. You have gut issues. You have brain fog. Like you need to be listening. And I would like find out you can actually do 23 and me. And I think they'll tell it. I think they'll, yeah, they'll tell you that uh, just, I use 23 and me data and run it through another software program, but I think they'll tell you just on the 23 and me health thing. Um, but yeah, like what is the other data platform? Because I, I ran 23 and me a long time ago. I'd love to know. Which oh yeah. I'll run, run it for you. Well. I use, um, it's, you have to do it through a practitioner, but it's pure, you know, pure encapsulations, the supplement company. No. Oh, okay. They're like a really reputable, um, supplement yeah. company and they have a division for genetics called pure genomics. And I'm yeah. really impressed with them. Um, they like, I've, I've even called, I'm like, tell me more about like how you guys see this, how you, oh, <laughs> I'm nerdy like that. Um, but like very impressed with their board and like very ethical. They're like, well, we don't know that much about this one yet. So everything has like a star rating depending on how researched it is. Like they're very open-minded about things like that. And, um, yeah. I can, I'll can run yours. If you have like the raw data, we'll, we'll connect after I, I, cool. when I, when I got my 23 me, I had someone else buy it. And then I, I would, of course, you know, gave it to the money and then, um, use a fake email and fake name because it was like five years ago or six years. I was like, I don't know if I feel yeah. comfortable sharing all my genetic data with this right. private company. Right. But I get that. Doing it. I don't know. So yeah, now I'm, like, I know. Some, like, I'm like someone else, some other name. <laughs> right. Yeah. I know some of my clients are like, I don't want to do I'm like, I totally respect that. Totally get it for me. It, it, risk versus reward. I, I, I want to know. And what pure genomics does is like, it's very clear on which ones impact health. 23 and me health reports are kind of like, I call them cute. It's like, wow, you may not, you may like garlic. It's just like, oh my God. <laughs> Like, I need excited. the actual information. <laughs> they have some of that, but like they do run a very um, comprehensive genome sequence. So like there's other companies like Pure Genomics, there's other ones that we can run that through and it's like super helpful. So appreciate them. Well, I actually just, um, you know, kind of, kind of going on to like understanding about our bio, um, our, vi our vitals, right? Uh, uh -huh. I just did a 26 vials of blood or this blood <laughs> test um, by this brand called Function Health. Have okay. You know? I haven't. Uh, they just launched a couple of months ago and they're supposed to give you everything from like LDL, HDL, yeah. um, toxicity tests and all that. So cool. Okay, cool. That goes. Yeah. Let me know. I, I'm laughing because that's like, I do blood work with oh. my clients too. And so like, I just order my own and go into the oh, lab. Can I, send you my, can I send you my lab work? And sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jack, you can send it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to take a look, but yeah, like I'll, um, go draw my own labs. And when I'm doing something really comprehensive, the guy, he's just like this funny 20 something year old guy. He always gives me like the, he's like, you chose to do all this yourself. <laughs> I'm like, yes. <laughs> anyway. Um, one last thing I did want to say too, on, um, CYP one, a two in terms of caffeine is like one other thing to be aware of is like, mm, are we lucky if we're fast metabolizers? I don't know. Oh, to be honest, like I can definitely tell, I can tell that I'm a fast one. I can tell that it kicks in quick and I can tell that it fades fast, the caffeine. Right. But, but, um, I think actually Chris Cresser has a really awesome article on this, if I'm not mistaken, but like, it's not uncommon for it to, ha to have a fast CYP one, a two, and then have a slow calm T. So calm T, if you have a slow calm T, you will hold on to adrenaline and estrogens for about 40% longer than other people. So this is the interesting thing about genetics. It's like, you can't just be like, Oh, yep. That you just isolate things like that. Like the, a lot of times the body has made workarounds for a lot of these things. Right. So I always think about that in terms of my own caffeine usage. It's like, I feel I'm just watching it because it's like, make sure that if you, yeah, cool. From a CYP one, a two standpoint, you may have gone through that quickly, but that doesn't mean that like the caffeine itself, but the adrenaline rise that I got from that could potentially last up to 40% longer than other people. Right. So there's a lot to be, um, discovered still with genetics. And at the end of the day, I think that's why it's what really are the negative wise. effects of adrenaline. Well, if, I mean, think adrenal fatigue, if your adrenaline's high all the time, mm -hmm. like you're, you're just, you can get True. high blood sugar. Um, it's just that, uh, you're in fight or flight mode 
for a little bit longer, right? So the body can't recover as, as well as it needs to sleep might be affected. Um, you know, and like all of the adrenals are connected to what's called the HPA axis, right? Your hypothalamus pituitary adrenal axis. And if you're constantly in fight or flight mode, you can start to get dysfunction in that, and that axis. And then that also can affect like reproductive organs, um, for men and women, also your, your liver, your kidneys, gut, all of it. Right. So you just don't want to be in fight or flight mode for a really long time. And, you know, for me, my life involves a lot. Yeah. I go in flight or fight or flight mode on purpose every single day in the gym. I like it. It's really Mm -hmm. super fun. It's my favorite thing to do. And because of that, I'm super intentional about coming back down into calm through breath work, through chilling, through not overdoing my schedule through downtime, through letting go of caffeine, you know, all of that. Like, because if you're in that constant go, 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 you're, you're going to get negative health consequences. Absolutely. There's no way you're not mm-hmm. going to so, and people think not me. Yes. You I'll coach you in five years when you have thyroid dysfunction and adrenal fatigue and you gained a bunch of weight and all like your muscles went catabolic. I'm telling, you know, if, if, if you're in that driving yourself into the ground mode and you think it's not going to catch up to you, it is, you know, so mm-hmm. maybe, maybe try some matcha, matcha mushroom. Do you call this ma- latte still a, a, a matcha mushroom mushroom matcha, matcha is my okay dislike. mushroom matcha okay yeah. i just wanted to point out that you guys also have ceremonial grade matcha in there and you have the organic chaga fruiting body extract and the organic lion's vein fruiting body extract which is super cool so um i actually just bought one of those cool like you know the matcha ceremonial like bowls with the little whisk oh cute yeah, yeah. do you know about fun. those of course <laughs> Yes. So we have, my whole family has been enjoying these. Thank you so oh, much cool. for sending these out. Yeah. My pleasure. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> you, what are your thoughts on collagen protein? Okay. Yeah. Let's get into that. Um, collagen. That, so over 50% of, Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. 50% no. of everyday dose is, is collagen protein. Okay, great. Yeah. I mean, you know, you guys are very pro gut health, I would say for sure. Right. So collagen is really helpful for sealing those tight junctions in the gut that can be because especially like, I bet a lot of people are having this on an empty stomach, which is really great. Like you, you went, you slept all night, you kind of emptied everything out for the most part. And then you're having this on an empty stomach. You're getting a bunch of collagen in there. That's a super smart thing to do in the morning. Cause then you can have more of that healing effect in the gut through collagen and yeah, collagen. I mean, um, I don't know. I'll let you take it. Why did you guys put collagen in here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, what you were saying is very good for the gut. Um, yeah. the glyce- so, so collagen peptides is, a, is basically made up of a bunch of different types of amino acids. Yeah. And there's two amino acids that are incredible glycine and proline, and that's incredible mm-hmm. for gut health. And then of course yeah. the hair, skin and nails and joints, yeah. uh, it's really good for that as well. And so, uh, I just, for me also, it gives it a bit of a creamy texture as well. Yeah. I think makes the, the drink taste really yeah. Amazing. It cuts down on the coffee flavor. Um, so yeah, those were the reasons why I put it in. Hell yeah. Yeah. It, it, is there anything else that you guys, any other products you have besides the mushroom coffee and the mushroom matcha? Those are the two. Yeah. Okay. We're going to be coming on a creamer. Uh, I don't know when you release this episode, um, but that will be released at the end of May. Okay. It, this might come out after that. So if it's at, at the, after the end of May, watch out for that. Yeah. Wonderful. And then any, uh, since we have you any favorite ways to serve oh, about the these- creamer, by the way, have you heard of trace minerals, the company? Of course. Yeah. Yeah. They're, they're a Utah based company. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So we're, we're going to be putting, it's going to be a collagen creamer with trace minerals. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Very needed. I'm really excited. There's no other company that's mixing trace minerals with like a collagen or a creamer. Nice. And so it's a super low sugar, um, collagen based, uh, with trace minerals in it. So awesome. That's so needed right now. I appreciate you doing that because like our soils are so depleted that people are not getting the minerals that they think they're getting anymore (laughs) from water or soil or the plants that they're eating, you know? So like, I wish, I wish so badly, like, I love the sentiment of like, I just eat good food and that's all I need, but it's a, it's a, lack of awareness. Sorry to say I'm just, that's at least my perspective. It's a lack of awareness of what's actually happening with our soils and our water quality, because we just don't have this. We've just re 
through mar- modern farming practices, we do, we're just using the same soil over and over trying to modify it with these big, large particles. Like it's just not there. So like, if you're going to add one thing to your life, I would add minerals <laughs> mm. for sure. So I, I love that you're putting that in your creamer. What's um, Zach Bush's, isn't it like you have a, you have like a, a soil sort of base supplement called like ion that's mm-hmm. like trace minerals base. Is that why he, I, I haven't really looked too much into the product. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm an affiliate for them. So I'm okay. pretty familiar. All right. Well, shout out to, you know, Zach shout out to Ion. Ion. If you guys want a discount, <laughs> go on my website. But um, yeah, Ion is okay. like, Zach had a, um, has a research lab or had, I don't know if he still does out at the university of Virginia. And like, it's basically like a element in, they call it Terra hydrate, but it's like, it's like a carbon based a component of soil that, um, they found helps increase the communication of gut cells. Right. Which makes sense. Like, of course, like our gut is supposed to be getting a lot of the stuff that's in dirt that has been completely minimized because of our modern farming and ranching practices. Like I'm really into, I'm really into soil. I'm a soil nerd. And so I did like an awareness event at a regenerative ranch a couple summers ago. And like, they were talking about like how we, don't, there are seeds that have gone completely dormant in the soil because we just, they don't have the environment to support them. Right. So think about that in terms of like what's happening in our own bodies and our own microbiomes. We're not getting a lot of what we need either. <laughs> right. Like they, the, even some of the seeds won't grow in certain areas anymore because they're not getting what they need. So yeah, like, um, I, I'm all about anything that will help our guts get what they were supposed to be getting all along. And that's Mm -hmm. what I mean by it's like, it's kind of a lack of awareness. If you're like just eating grapes and lettuce from the grocery store, like that's really, yeah. Sorry. Keep that, going. That's great. So excited. ADHD. That's one of the issues that I'm. No, still I love on. it. And I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I have it too, Jack. So you're in good company. You can do that all you want. <laughs> Yeah, the lack of knowledge of like the, the things in the grocery store just upsets me so much. And it, that's why I'm having so much fun watching the, like the TikToks and Instagrams of people walking into grocery stores, flipping mm-hmm. over the label and be like, okay, this has this, this, and this, and that. And I'm like, yeah, call out those brands that like people talk about. Like, yeah, I loved Oatly. And then I realized I learned about, you know, um, seed oils. Yeah. Like yeah. I thought I was being better. <laughs> I was, so, it was so dumb. And, and I, that's why I, I'm always continuing my health journey as well. Like mm-hmm. I'm not perfect. I'm going to learn new things, but mm-hmm. there are certain things that I know much more about than others. And I'm just sort of diving into the seed oil one. For uh, okay. Well, you, at some point you might get like me where I'm like, yeah, yeah. I used to preach about the seed oils and blah, blah, blah. blah. Now I'm like, I just like Oatly. I'm going to have it sometimes. <laughs> oh, you do it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, I've kind of like, I've kind of kind of gone full circle. I went like really deep into the, like, no, everything's bad. And I need to eat the most optimized things ever to like a little more lax place of like over the grand scheme of things. If I have 1% of my eight ounces of something has, has seed oils in it, I'm probably going to be okay. <laughs> but then again, like I'm not, you know, I, I'm not actively fighting inflammation. Like if somebody's like having a lot of gut issues or like you said, ADHD is inflammatory. Maybe I don't have ADHD because I don't feel very inflamed and my blood work doesn't show any inflammation. My gut doesn't seem to be inflamed. Right. So, but if you're actively, I don't mean to say that, in a, um, uh, I, I probably shouldn't say that in such a flippant way. If you're actively trying to heal something in your body or prevent a lot of inflammation, it is good to be aware of those things. Right. But if you're not, that's when it's kind of like, do we need to worry about to me? I'm just always looking at what do I actually need to worry about or not, you know, mm-hmm. and just kind of being real with myself on that. So, yeah, I mean, obviously I eat regenerative organic, uh, you know, local as much as I can. And then I just don't sweat the rest. Cause then that just feels like a stressor that I don't need to have. Okay. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Um, (laughs) (laughs) I'm here here for it. (laughs) All right. So, um, what did we not hit yet? We talked about collagen protein. I just, I love, I love geeking out about ingredients. Um, so I'm glad that we talked about those things. Um, I also wanted to ask you, cause this is your product since we have you here, like, is, are there certain ways that you love to enjoy these? You said cold. I think it's the hardest thing about coffee. It's such an emotional thing. <laughs> it's it's your ritual. Yeah. Everybody has their own. And so it's hard to tell people how to make it. But the for me, how I like to make it is make it, 
in cold water or even lukewarm water. And then I pour ice in another cup. And then I pour that into the, the uh, cup with the ice because I love to hear the crackles. I love to yeah. hear the crackling yeah. uh, when it goes through the ice. And nice. then I like to pour some sort of milk on it, whether it's raw A2 milk, used to be Oatly. Um, <laughs> and I see like the lines of the cream going through it. And I just, yeah. it's just like, it feels very decadent. Yeah. Um, and so sometimes I'll sweeten it with maple syrup or like the, you know, the, um, the matcha is really nice with maple syrup too. Mm. Recently, I've been really having fun. Actually, this has been my new favorite way when I'm, and when I drink it hot for people who like to drink it hot, I like to make it hot, like almost like an espresso. I mm. pour it into the blender. Mm-hmm. Um, I pour, um, um, coconut cream. I actually do like a big scoop of coconut cream with hot water mm. and I blend that baby up. That and, sounds so uh, good. It's just like this yummy, delicious, like hot coffee with coconut cream. That's yummy. I'm so glad I asked. <laughs> Those are great ideas. Do you yeah. do bulletproof. Do you like bulletproof coffees? Um, so often? I mean, on? I used to more when I was keto. Now that I, now I've kind of switched to less fat in my coffee now that I'm not keto, but of course I like them. They taste amazing. (laughs) So making an everyday dose bulletproof is a bulletproof everyday dose. Um, like either ghee or grass butter with also coconut, uh, coconut oil. And then you blend that up. It's super, super frothy. That's another great way. So for those keto people out there. Yes. Or if you just want to start your day with some fat, yeah. If you haven't tried ghee, just blend it up like that. (laughs) It's so good. <laughs> it is so good. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. Um, all right. So guys, if you want Jack, thank you for taking the time. I know you're busy. You you're this company is growing like crazy. So I appreciate you coming on and sharing with us, like why you made it. What is the point giving people some other options besides coffee? Cause like in this day and age of like adrenal fatigue, mania, hypothyroidism, mania, like maybe you, I don't know if you're aware, but any of us who are actively health coaching people, it's out of control right now, out of control. How many people's blood sugar is through the roof, not just from like eating too much sugar, but from chronic stress, just being in this rat race. And then they're just like caffeine, 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 simulant, 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 simulant. And it's like, thank you for showing up to the plate by doing it. I mean, you did it for you first, which is always the best way. Right. And you're like, this is kind of cool. I'm doing this. I'm going to like, I'm going to create this. I'm going to share this with other people. I'm going to do it with integrity and do high quality stuff. And I'm going to freaking show up. So thank you for doing yeah, that and pleasure. helping people get off so much caffeine. <laughs> if for any, anybody that's at, that's listening, uh, we can create a code or even, a, you know, coach Tara. Okay. Coach Tara is perfect. That's the one. Cool. And then I'll give them a free travel pack. So like a five pack oh, of thanks. travel. So Right, right now we're running a fun deal. It's only a dollar a cup. For, nice. Okay. For, and then you get, you know, you get this supercharged USB frother and. Um, yeah. You sent uh, me one. It's super nice. Like you guys don't play small. I was like, wow. Like this is like the nicest frother I've ever. Everything that I do has to like get the sign <laughs> off. Like it, it's super yeah. important. To- Quality is super important to me. So I'm I can tell. Like yeah. Yeah. You sent me the most beautiful box and it was just like every, the, the quality, the branding, the box the everything. I was like, Oh, okay. I see you Jack showing up. <laughs> so thank <laughs> you. <laughs> All right. We'll go ahead and wrap it up. Make sure you guys take advantage of that. We'll link that up in the show notes. Thank you for that. And again, it's everydaydose.com. You can follow them on social media channels and um, we'll, you know, make sure we write down that coach Tara code as well. So you can take advantage of that awesome offer. Um, all right, Jack. Thank you. 